Hello guys, welcome to a new video. This video is about the mystery behind a movie from 2017 called The Shape of Water. Spoilers ahead. The film begins with us walking through a house that looks to be underwater. We hear a guy named Giles speak about a princess, the one he loved, and the monster who threatened to break them apart. In Baltimore, 1962. Elisa Esposito, is a woman who can't speak and lives alone, but spends a lot of time with Giles, a middle-aged bachelor, who lives next door to her in a small apartment, above a local movie theater. She works as a janitor at the Occam Aerospace Research Center, alongside her friend Zelda Fuller. During their night shift, a vessel carrying a valuable asset is brought into the facility. When Elisa approaches the vessel, something from within it goes totally against it. Giles takes Elisa to his favorite pie shop after work in the morning, where he often orders key lime pie. Elisa dislikes it, but Giles enjoys the pie and his talks with the shop's pie guy, on whom, the closeted homosexual Giles has a crush on. We also see Giles working on an advertisement for a Jell-O product, for the company where he previously worked before being suspended, presumably due to a drinking problem. Elisa and Zelda are cleaning a bathroom at work, when Colonel Richard Strickland walks in and splashes some water on his hands, after washing them before using the toilet. After a while, the ladies hear a scream from another room, and Strickland appears with two fingers missing on his left hand. Elisa and Zelda must clean up the blood in the room, where the new asset is kept. Elisa splatters water on the floor, and Strickland's fingers emerge from beneath a bookcase. Elisa places them in a suitcase, to accompany him to the hospital. Elisa discovers that the asset, is a humanoid fish-like creature. She is captivated by it and begins to, sneak into the enclosure to spend time with it. Elisa feeds it hard-boiled eggs, teaches it sign language, and plays music records for it to listen to over the next three days. When she hears someone enter, she goes into hiding. Strickland has arrived to torment the asset, by zapping it with a cattle prod, solely to taunt it for biting his fingers. Strickland's personal life is quickly revealed to be that, he is married with two small children, to whom he appears to pay no attention. When his wife requests sex with him while their children are in school, he has rough sex with her and doesn't care when it becomes too rough. Robert Hofstetler, a new doctor at the clinic, is secretly a Soviet spy named Dmitri. He meets with his bosses, who transport him to a Russian-themed restaurant to discuss the asset. Hofstetler informs the men that he believes, the creature is intelligent and can communicate. The bosses later poison Hofstetler in order to prevent the Americans, from furthering their scientific studies. Meanwhile, General Hoyt, Strickland's arrogant boss, wants to harvest the asset's body for space travel technology. Elisa grows concerned for the asset's safety and informs Giles that, she wishes to assist it. Giles is opposed, but Elisa sees no difference between the monster and herself, because they are both the same individuals unlike regular people, and she is worried it will die, if she does nothing. Giles pays another visit to the pie shop. He starts a friendly conversation with Pie Guy, until Giles reaches out to touch his hand, and the man reacts angrily. It gets worse, when an African-American couple enters, and the racist and homophobic Pie Guy tells them, they can't sit at the counter. Giles is also told to leave and not return. Meanwhile, Elisa becomes the unwanted attention by Strickland, when he deliberately spills a glass of water in his office and forces her to clean it up. He then manhandles her, claiming that he is turned on by the fact that she is mute, and tells her that if she spends more time with him, he can make her squack. Elisa leaves. Giles, who is hurt and upset about being rejected and having to remain in the closet out of fear in this homophobic world, decides to help Elisa break out the asset by decorating a van and making a fake ID for himself. Elisa starts their strategy by directing the cameras away from the area. While Giles drives into the facility, she slips the asset into a laundry basket and rolls it away. Zelda is about to leave work when she understands what Eliza is up to. At the same time, Hofstetler is prepared for action, apparently to carry out his orders, but he finds out of Elisa's plan and decides to assist her. He disables power with a bomb and injects a syringe into a guard. Strickland dashes for the door, but it is too late. Elisa gets the monster inside the van with the help of Zelda and Hofstetler, and Giles drives them away, destroying Strickland's new car in the process. Elisa brings the asset to her apartment and keeps it in her bathtub with chemicals that Hofstetler gave her, plus some salt to keep it healthy. When she goes to work the following night, Strickland interrogates her and Zelda, but doesn't believe they could have been responsible. As she leaves, Elisa signs, a fuck you to Strickland, which Zelda translates as thank you. Giles falls asleep while tending to the asset. When the asset comes out of the tub, he notices one of Giles' cats. The cat hisses at the asset, and the asset growls back, before being ruthlessly killing the cat. Giles notices this and becomes afraid of the asset. 
It escapes, scratching Giles' arm. Giles tells Elisa what occurred when she returns. She dashes out the door to seek for it, only to discover it in the movie theater beneath the apartments. She takes it upstairs and tends to it. When the asset comes into contact with Giles' head and arm, it begins to glow a blue tint. Giles wakes up with hair on his head where there was previously none. His cut arm is also entirely healed. Elisa and the asset become more intimate, and they have bestial sex in the restroom. Elisa even floods the bathroom so they may swim together, but this causes a leak into the theater, forcing Giles to open the door and let the water out. She finally intends to release the asset into a canal that will be flooded by rains. Elisa grows more attached to the asset, imaging herself in an old-timey musical performance singing about her feelings for him. Meanwhile, General Hoyt, pays a visit to the facility to scold Strickland for misplacing the asset, and gives him 36 hours to locate it. Hofstetler's own employers discover he didn't kill the asset, but they spare him for the time being, informing him he will be retrieved and returned to Russia in two days. Zelda comes over on the day Elisa planned to release the asset and notices, that its scales are peeling off and, that it has escaped the facility's chemicals. They intend to remove the asset that night. Strickland follows Hofstetler to his rendezvous point, where he always meets his bosses. They shoot Hofstetler repeatedly, but before they can finish him off, Strickland shows up and kills them first. He grabs Hofstetler by the bullet hole in his cheek and tortures him, to give up the asset's location, thinking he is hiding it for other Soviet spies. With his dying breath, Hofstetler laughs at Strickland and says, no names. No rankings. They just clean. Strickland then visits Zelda's house, to question her and her husband Brewster. He pulls off the two fingers on his hand that had not healed after being reattached, becoming increasingly insane and delusional. Zelda remains silent, but Brewster informs him that Elisa is in possession of the asset. Zelda scolds Brewster and then calls Elisa to warn her after Strickland departs. She and Giles quickly took the asset out before Strickland arrives. He breaks into Elisa's apartment and notices a note on her calendar, indicating that she is taking the asset to the canal. The asset is delivered to the canal by Elisa and Giles. They bid the creature farewell, but it signals to Elisa, me and you together forever. He must depart without her, she answers. Strickland arrives, strikes Giles in the face, and then shoots both the asset and Elisa. Strickland turns to leave, believing he has just triumphed, but is struck in the face by Giles. The asset regains consciousness and cures its own bullet wounds. Strickland is impressed and refers to the asset as a god before its claws cut Strickland's throat. The asset throws Elisa into the lake while Giles and Zelda, who have just arrived, look on. Underwater, the asset kisses Elisa, using its healing powers to revive her and give her gills where there were once scars on her neck. The two hold each other as Giles's voice closes the film saying that the two of them could now be together. If you enjoyed this movie recap, here are some more that you may like, please hit the like button and share the video with your friends to help the channel grow. Thanks for watching Movie Shoot Recap.